Hi, I am Izwan. Hi, I'm Asma. Hi, I'm Sarah as Collins. Hi, I'm Hanis as Godfroy. We will look into the case Collins versus Godfroy, 1831. The issue was whether the agreement between the plaintiff and the defendant was supported by valuable consideration. One day, Colin had brought an action against an attorney for negligence. Colin was subpoena to attend court as a witness in a case involving Godfrey. Colin, can you be my witness to attend the court and give an evidence? Let me think, Godfrey. I promise to pay you one guinea per day for your presence at court as compensation for the loss of your time. Okay, I agree, Godfrey. Colin attended court for six days but was not called to give evidence. Colin demanded payment of six union as per the agreement. I have performed my obligation by attending six days in court as requested. I want six guineas as per the agreement. I won't pay you as it is your obligation as witness. When this was not paid, Colin brought an action against Godfrey for the sum of it. The question for the court was whether the agreement between the Collins and Godfrey was supported by valuable consideration. The agreement that Collins should attend court was not supported by consideration. This was because Collins was under a public duty to attend court anyway, having been subpoenaed. The law will not allow someone to recover expense incurred in the performance of a duty that they were merely obliged to do anyway by law. In conclusion, Colin was under a public duty to attend court due to the subpoena, a promise of remuneration to do that which the court required is without consideration. According to the section 26 of the Contract Act 1950 stated that any agreement made with the consideration is void. Hence, Godfrey was not required to pay Colin as the agreement was unenforceable.